show you how to um, install a roof jack. Let me show you what it is. This is a four inch, four inch diameter gooseneck roof jack with a built-in damper for a bathroom exhaust fan. So all, all exhaust fans need to be ducted to the outside and the, in, the, the duct should be insulated. So what we're using is um, a high-tech uh, antimicrobial ducting system that's got R8 insulation wrapped around it. And now I've got my technician in the attic doing that part. I'm on top of the roof showing you how to install the roof jack on an asphalt roof. And I'm going to start pulling up my roofing tile here. So what you want to do, get a nice little long pry bar with a nail, little nail hook on the end. And we already pre uh, stuck a screw in here. We're approximately in between the joist bays of the roof rafters. So we want this sitting in the middle of it so we have plenty of room to work and tie our duct into it. So I'm sliding underneath the top piece and pulling up where the asphalt shingle has actually melted onto the one below it. So as I butt this piece of shingle up to the back here, I measure from my hole, which is about an inch away. So I can take my skill saw and go ahead and cut about an inch away. All I really need is about a four by four inch hole, and then you can just bust it inside. Oh, typical HVAC duct. Got the UV mylar protector on it, R8 insulation, and then our slinky over the top. Okay, so the slinky will hook up to there. Then he'll zip tie, he'll he'll mastic, zip tie and tape it. To pull the insulation and the UV coating over it and he'll zip tie and tape it again. We want to make sure we glue, screw, and tape or glue, nail, and tape. Whatever your circumstances are to make sure you got a triple protection that this has never come apart. The other thing is we're not going to want to have it bent. We're going to have a nice radius, really easy radius. I'll get this down underneath there. good. Get this one ready to cut. Okay, so you want to try to make sure you use all the nails in the same spot. This one's got a couple of little holes in it, so just to be safe, I'll go ahead and put a little bit of tar underneath there. Okay, so even though I'm not a, I'm, we're a general contractor, we're not just a roofing company. We do all kinds of sorts of projects from room additions, net zero energy homes, passive houses, and do things properly. Like this bathroom exhaust vent that I just installed is for the hall bath. So once we're done hooking up the duct work, we'll actually test it again, measure it, and see what actual CFM is producing now because we have it more restricted due to that we actually hook ducts up. However, it should be working fine because now it's ducted to the outside of the house and not back into the attic. Hopefully you learned something today. Please write comments down below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That is at Best Text Contracting. Thank you and have a great day.